So Gwen is an amazing athlete, but this week she announced that she'd be retiring from triathlon. I got this right up in people's business in the swim this morning. What's up, Trainiacs? A lot of to-dos have been to do this week when reigning Olympic women's triathlon gold medalist Gwen Jorgensen, who I think is probably one of the best single-day female short course distance racers out there. Like, basically, if she showed up over the past few years, she was winning. I think she was on a winning streak of... 13 ITU races in a row, but this week she announced that she'd be retiring from triathlon and actually stepping back from the sport to focus on another sport. Mm -hmm. Allow me to show you right there. Now there's no audio in this, but essentially what Gwen is saying is that she's had a kid. She bought a house since her finish in Rio and my take on it is that it's very hard to compete as a triathlete at the highest level by yourself out of Wisconsin, which I think is where she is. Triathletes tend to train together in training camps so that they get altitude, so that they get intensity, so that they can get the group rides, they can get used to the pack dynamics, they can have a really good swim squad that they train with. But having a kid, in my opinion, if you follow Gwen on Instagram, like she's in love with that kid. And the thought of uprooting their entire family and going for another run at Olympics in triathlon is pretty tough. However, in running, you can certainly do that. And with longer distance running, you can do that on your own wherever you are. Now, let's look at her running style and see if she's got the chops to be able to do that. So this is Gwen running in Yokohama. And the thing that gives me a little bit of encouragement about Gwen's bid at Marathon is that she runs like a runner. What you see here, that's a really big indication of her, her track success as a youth track athlete and as a college track athlete, is she's got that nice long stride, bringing her legs way in behind up. If you see the path of her foot, it goes way back. So she's got a huge stride and a lot of time in the air. And that's really critical when you start running really fast. For triathletes, we can get away with a bit of a bulkier, punchier, shorter steps, keeping our feet low kind of stride because we're not getting up to those like track and marathon and half marathon speeds. But the longer you can stay in the air, the faster you're gonna be because you don't have that ground contact friction. So Gwen's history as a track athlete, it shows because she runs like a track athlete. And that was really apparent over the last few years when Gwen was just like the class of the field, particularly on the run. Even if she was upwards of two, three, four minutes down on the lead pack coming into the bike, she was often able to run down the leaders and win races. However though, we can see from those track times what kind of run potential Gwen has in her. So she raced for the Wisconsin Badgers in 2008-2009. Her personal best mile time was a 439.43. Her 5,000 meter time personal best was a 1552.19. Her 10,000 meter personal best was 33.38.38. 10 mile personal best was 53.13. And that was shortly after Rio last year. Now we plug that into a calculator that does your race time predictions. And those track times of the mile, the 5,000 meter, the 10,000 meter, at best, we get to a predicted marathon time of 228. Now you might be saying, well, hey, Taryn, you know, Gwen was a triathlete, not focusing on running. Well, that personal best mile time was actually when she was focused on running with the Wisconsin Badgers. In addition to that, Gwen also raced the New York City Marathon in 2016, just, I think, 70 one days after winning gold in Rio, and she hadn't built up marathon fitness, and she still came in, finished in 241.01, and 14th overall. Pretty good. 
but that's coming in at a 609 per mile pace and it needs to be closer to a 630 per mile. Now you might be thinking, hey, Taryn, you know what? No big deal. Like spend a bunch of time focusing on just marathons. Gwen is an amazing athlete. Of course it's gonna happen. Now, talking to the old track friends that I've got, not my track friends, cause I wasn't in track, but the friends that I've got that used to be in track, they talk about how your track times are just literally simple math for how fast you can be. Now locally, there's a runner here whose personal best time is 224, basically what would be the winning time in the Olympics. It's a dude, not a female, he's not an Olympian. His personal best mile time was a 410. Gwen's was 439. 29 seconds, the difference between a seven minute mile and a 630 mile, not huge, but you all can figure out like how difficult it is for you to shave off 30 seconds. Well, the faster you get, the harder it gets. It's like exponentially harder because you start dealing with more wind resistance. You start dealing with body structure. You start dealing with like right getting to the physical limitations of what you are possibly capable of. 29 seconds, huge. Let's also compare Gwen's times to the personal best of Shalane Flanagan, who just won the New York City Marathon and was the US female top performing marathon runner in 2016 in Rio. Shalane's personal best 5,000 meter time, 1444.80, a minute and eight seconds faster than Gwen, and a 10,000 meter personal best of 30.22.22. Three minutes and 16 seconds faster than Gwen's personal best 10,000 meter time. So these are like, these are worlds apart from each other. So do I think that Gwen has a chance at making the Olympics? Yes, absolutely. If she can get that 241 time down to like a 235, 230, I think she can make the team. Do I think that she has a chance at Olympic gold? Not a hope in hell. So why do I think she's doing it? I'm not gonna say that I think it's a publicity stunt, but I think that it is something that she can pursue that is a better fit in her life. And if you take a look at Gwen's announcement video, Red Bull just so happens to have very prominent placing. Just saying. On that note, check out this fun, oh, 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 oh. I grabbed this for the GoPro recently. Damn, I like. I got this right up in people's business in the swim this morning. Gwen Jorgen in the marathon, seriously. You hear about that? Gwen Jorgensen's given up triathlon oh, for yeah. marathons. Oh, it's 